Today I announced a $10.4 billion economic security strategy to help see Australia through the global financial crisis. This package, over the course of the budget and the forward estimates, uh, will inject some $17.629 billion uh, into the Australian economy in a series of measures which are designed to support cash flow, boost investment and provide immediate uh, demand stimulus to the Australian economy. Two very different economic crises and two very different Prime Ministers. You cannot underestimate the extent to which the government's coronavirus response has been shaped by the events of 2008. After all, the Coalition's criticisms of Labor's GFC response has been the backbone of a lethal political attack for the past decade. As a result, as the government has changed its language and shaped its policies, it has been obsessed with ensuring it wasn't seen to be taking the same approach as Labor. The way we have designed this stimulus is to ensure that it doesn't have a fiscal hangover down the track, that it doesn't bury the budget for a decade. The Coalition has had to dump its mantras about the budget surplus. It is also having to countenance the likelihood it will preside over Australia's first recession in 30 years. 30 years in which it has made recession a Labor brand. Will this package be enough to save the nation from recession? We've, we have worked carefully, Kieran, to make sure that we have got a proportionate response here to meet the challenge. The government's statement today betrays how gravely it views the economic outlook. The spend is one third bigger as a proportion of the economy than Labor's 2008 response. Much of it mimics exactly what Labor did in its first response to the GFC, but it benefits from the lessons of what went wrong in the delivery of that response, including the infamous mailing of cheques to dead people. This time it will be the tax office and Centrelink which distributes cheques. The bigger test will be in coming months if the global economy slumps into a recession that looks like being prolonged. The government will then confront the sorts of questions Labor faced in 2009 when it fashioned longer term policies to bolster the economy, but unleashed a world of pain over pink bats and school halls. What will the right response be then? A confident young MP spelt out that response at the time. Here are some important benchmarks. Will it increase productive capacity in our economy? Will it empower the private sector to invest and keep people in their jobs? Will it provide a platform for consumer confidence? Can it be delivered efficiently and effectively by those tasked to implement? Will the benefits justify burdening to future generations of Australians with the dead weight of debt? Hi, I'm Lee Sales. Thanks for watching this story. If you'd like to watch more of 730's stories, they are on the left of your screen. And tap on the button below to subscribe and get the latest from ABC News.